It's that time of year to be sold another program by Dean Graziosi. Last year, Dean and his pal Tony Robbins flooded social media with paid advertising and marketing for their program called Knowledge Broker Blueprint. Another year goes by which gives Dean another opportunity to sell a course. This year, we are being sold Project Next, a completely different product than last year. I hope you can sense my sarcasm. People idolize Dean Graziosi, Tony Robbins, and the speaker of these hype seminars. So if you're a fan of these mindsetpreneurs, then all I ask is that you watch the full video to understand my point. These gurus are in the business of selling success, not solving your problems. Hey Dean, what times are we in right now? I'm not a marketer who's trying to find something to sell you because the economy stinks. The truth of the matter is, these are the toughest times we've seen in history. Hi, I'm Dean Graziosi, and using just one of the simple techniques that you'll learn in my course on how to profit in today's changing market. I want to jump on real quick one last time and say congratulations for reserving your spot, for registering for the webcast training I'm going to be doing. I'm so excited. Listen, in these crazy, changing, sometimes uncertain times. Thanks, Dean. Glad to see you're still instilling fear in your audience to sell your products by using the same message in every sales pitch. Since some of you are going to be appalled that I even have the gall to question the credibility of these people, I'm going to begin the video with four disclaimers on why people like Dean and the programs he sells are a facade, and I'll break down why it's an industry full of BS. Disclaimer number one, I'm going to do my best to be as objective as possible, but I think Dean Graziosi is hands down one of the biggest charlatans on social media. I have been talking to a lawyer who provided the lawsuit against Nudge LLC that Dean is a defendant in, and don't worry, there will be a full video about that lawsuit alone. What Dean has done to the real estate community will be exposed in a future video. I will also be discussing all of the shady things he has done that were in the lawsuit. This is not my opinion. That will be exposed in the future video. With that said, I will do my best to give him a fair shake in this video, but the purpose of this video is to make sure you never buy one of his products. Disclaimer number two, here is a Udemy course for $125. One of the major reasons why I'm so critical of this industry of selling success is because they charge an insane amount of money for no results, they don't sell great courses, and there are significantly better options on the market. Just keep in mind throughout this video that there is a much better product available for people at a much more affordable price. And want to know the best part? The course creator isn't running a multi-million dollar campaign full of hype and manipulation to get you to buy the product. Disclaimer number three, if you're new to my channel or aren't yet familiar with the course creation and internet marketing world, there are zero honest reviews of these courses. I'm going to cover this in this video, but every review you see in these courses is financially biased. I know some people think I'm a hater because I criticize the scummy practices of this industry, but no, it's because I'm the only one who isn't financially incentivized to get you to buy the product. Disclaimer number four, yes, there will be some success stories. 30,000 people or more bought the product. Some people will succeed. The focus of my videos is on the majority of people who do not succeed and should not have been even sold the product. There's a lot of tactics used to hide the reality of the success of these courses. Let's begin. We think those thoughts, but sometimes when things are moving so quick, the economy's going up or is the economy crashing? Should I wait? We sit on the sidelines. I want to tell you. Dean Graziosi is a master marketer in the infomercials and digital product space. He's been doing this for 30 years. He's in the business of selling success. Dean has known for a long time that the money is in selling success, not attaining it through building an actual business. Dean and Tony linked up last year for a product called Knowledge Broker Blueprint, which became the biggest digital product selling event ever or something. These two are masters at selling. Don't let my disdain for what they do take away from their skill set. These guys are masters at manipulating emotion and turning people into buyers. I'm about to present a lot of criticism for the way these courses are sold. Understand that I'm pro-consumer and always looking out for the best interests of the consumer. I'm on your side. Remember that if you think I'm being too harsh. Criticism number one, there are much better products on the market. I've already presented a paid Udemy course. That course includes everything you need to know about digital marketing strategies, social media marketing, designing a website and sending traffic to your website, selling digital products, email marketing, and running paid ads on social media. It's a solution to everything you ever need to know. There's 54 and a half hours of video in this course. This is a multiple month course so that you know how to run your entire digital business at a fraction of the cost of what Dean and Tony charge. KBB was $2,000 and Project Next is $1,000. 
eight to 16 times the cost of the Udemy course. And you can watch YouTube videos on creating a course with Kajabi for free. Most people jumping into this digital world should not be spending thousands of dollars for information. Information is the least valuable aspect of your new venture because of how readily available it is for free. It's important to push you in the right direction, but information is about two to 5% of success. Implementing and navigating setbacks is the remaining 95%, and that isn't taught in a course. You get a lot of knowledge, but you won't implement it. And I always tell people, knowledge is not power. Knowledge is potential power, right? Execution trumps knowledge every day of the week. Criticism number two, consumers are never given an opportunity for a fair review of this course. If you aren't familiar with the affiliate marketing game, here's a quick breakdown. For a course of this size, Dean and Tony reach out to many social media influencers with large followings and offer them an opportunity to make some money. These influencers promote the course and receive affiliate commissions when the people reading their blog or watching their YouTube video buy using the link on the page. Used car salesmen get a bad rep, but affiliate marketers make used car salesmen look like timid virgins asking a cute girl out on a date. If you haven't figured it out yet, there's a conflict of interest. These affiliate marketers only get paid when you purchase the course. The review is about as honest as steroid era baseball players answering questions about their PED use. Uh, Congressman, my 42 inch biceps are definitely natural. The problem I have is that consumers never get an honest evaluation on if they're a good fit for the course. These courses are hyper sold. That's a term I just created, so let me trademark it really quick. Hyper selling means using every little manipulative tactic to sell a product. These affiliate marketers would sell milk at a lactose intolerant conference and claim that their product would reduce wrinkles, help you lose weight, and give you energy to go a second round with your mistress if it meant making money. Here's an example from the biggest affiliate, Jenna Kucher. It's wild how the process of packaging up your own knowledge or someone else's can help you tap into a basically hidden $129 billion industry that is predicted to triple in size within the next five years. Yes, Jenna, it's clearly hidden. I say this without hesitation, this is the course of all courses. Remember when I told you that I'd spent 100K on my own self-education over the years? Well, I've made millions from that. The return on investment with this kind of course is unimaginable. If you watch my content, you're probably rolling your eyes at this copy. This is everywhere on the sales page. You can pick any of the top affiliate marketers who promote this course and they'll have similar crazy claims. Nowhere on the page is there mention about the type of person who would not be a good fit for this program. This entire page is disingenuous. You want to know the best copy in the world? My product gets results and here's proof. You wanna know why these courses need 3,000 words to try and convince you to buy, including claims like, courses like this have made me millions. It's because they don't get results. If students had financial success, because let's be real, that's why people are buying this, then the copy would be about 20 words. The best products in the world don't need a sales page because the product sells itself. Here's an SF Weekly post by an affiliate marketer that is promoting the Project Next course. It is mentioned at the bottom that the author is an affiliate, but most people don't know what that means. A program like this is so large and so expensive that it draws in hundreds of affiliates because of how well it will sell. This floods social media with a bum rush of what feels like positive reviews and a feeling of you'd have to buy this course, but it's just a bunch of affiliates promoting the course so that you'll buy using their link and they'll get paid. Here's one of the biggest affiliates, John Lee Dumas, explaining how they spent 100K on ads. This is why these courses sell so well. So much advertising and marketing for a can't miss course. Criticism number three, all these courses do is create mindset and life coaches. It's like the low hanging fruit of the self-education space. Very few experts have a skill that people are willing to pay for. Let's be real, in order to start a sustainable business in the course space, you have to be able to sell high ticket courses, AKA courses that cost $1,000 and up. Very few people have a skill that can command that kind of payment from clients, let alone deliver. What eventually happens is people turn into mindset coaches, positivity coaches, or then they turn around and sell the same information so that they can make money online by teaching others how to make money online. This is basically the start of what I call the mindsetpreneur industry, where everyone becomes an armchair psychologist who are all definitely not licensed to be working on human psychology. Criticism number four, where are the results? As part of your purchase into Project Next, you receive access to mastermind.com, where students post their course for public consumption. This is mastermind.com and all of the courses shown are students of the course that makes everyone millions of dollars apparently. If we look at the rating system, we can see that there are 1,543 courses listed on this site. Only about 27 have ratings, which we can assume means that at least one person bought the course. I think another assumption we can make is that everyone who buys a course will leave a review because they're playing the same game too and want to support someone else in this mastermind.com fraternity. The numbers add up to about 1% of people having at least one review, and out of the courses 
houses that do have a review, they only have one review. I'm still confused as to why people aren't lining up to buy these courses. Create yourself, flipping the script on the find yourself myth boredom buster, and self-mastery continued group coaching. Remember, Dean and Tony's course gets hyped for weeks. The affiliate marketers call it the best course of all courses. Tony and Dean put on a six-day hype seminar to promote how amazing this course is. Very few people are going to make their money back. This course is promoted as a way to own your future. They're basically saying to become an entrepreneur teaching your expertise. Realistically, most of the courses are going to cost about $25 to $40, just like Udemy, because these people will find out that their expertise in petting their dog isn't something that generates sales. In order to own your future and turn this into a full-time career, these course creators need to be selling hundreds of their courses every single month. That's just not plausible for most of the courses listed. Surprise, surprise, your hobby of doing laundry efficiently just doesn't turn into a best-selling course. Criticism number five, at no point during anyone's sales pitch, ad copy, or during the hype seminar were there any disqualifications. I believe selling is bad if you are hurting people. I believe selling is bad if you're selling an inferior product. I believe selling is bad if you are leaning into people's fears and providing them something they don't need. But I think marketing and making an offer right now where you could help people, where you can serve them, where you can deliver capabilities or deliver something they need or something they're going to want anyway, then I believe um, marketing and selling done right is what's needed. Not is it good or bad. It's what's needed. Dean, the king of not using disqualifiers, saying that selling something that people don't need is bad is the most ironic thing I've heard today. To me, you aren't selling ethically if you sell to people who aren't a good fit for your program. You're taking their money because you care more about the sale than their well-being. As you'll learn about in a future video, that sentence sums up Dean perfectly. To help people with that knowledge. Now, if I said this knowledge is so valuable, it used to be worth X, but now I'm charging two hundred dollars because you're struggling and you need this more than ever then i'm a real piece of crap this is hilarious because dean sells his courses to anyone that will buy them please do not change that channel if you're looking to make extra money so now how do you make money if you have no money and no credit it kind of seems like a, a myth doesn't it kind of seems like maybe other people can do it maybe in other towns if you watch my video breaking down his sales tactics in the webinar promoting his get rich quick with real estate program you can see that the messaging is for people who don't have money. The wording he uses in his advertising is for people struggling financially. The reality is that these kinds of courses rely on people purchasing the course who aren't a good fit. Everyone ready for an industry secret? Only about 10 to 15% of customers even complete the course, let alone try to have success with whatever program they're implementing. It's not the course creator's responsibility for customers watching the material, I understand that, but they could certainly influence that number by making sure the wrong customers don't buy the product. One thing I really like about Gary Vaynerchuk is that he talks relentlessly about having self-awareness. Even though Dean and Tony will hype you up that your expertise can help you become a full-time course creator in these new crazy times, Realistically, very few people will. Most people are not ready to leave a job to begin selling their Master Your Anxiety course. Criticism number six, hype is what sells these courses, not quality. Dean and Tony put on a six day hype seminar to promote Project Next. Each day was three hours and I watched every hour. The entire seminar is basically motivational cliche quotes, having to hear everyone's rags to riches story and why everyone in the audience is an expert that can own their future. The information in the course is fine. There will be some success stories. I'm confident in saying that buying Dean and Tony's course will help customers in creating a course. The information isn't the issue. To really pull back the curtain and deliver capabilities in a time when we need it the most. Let's just say it like it is. <laughs> this has been a crazy year. That would be an understatement to say it's crazy. Uncertainty at an all-time high. The easiest thing in sales is selling a product that works. Really ask yourself, why do Dean and Tony need to spend millions on advertising, rely on hundreds of affiliates to flood the marketplace with honest, positive reviews, run a 16-day, 18-hour hype seminar that doesn't focus on the product to sell their course. If this opportunity actually worked for people, they wouldn't have to create a new $997 product that's the same product that was released a year ago. Knowledge Broker Blueprint is basically the same course as Project Next. If that product really worked for customers and they cared more about customer success than money, they would just add a new module to KBB and continue selling that. I'm not a religious guy, but Christianity kind of figured it out. There's one book, one and only 
only book. That's the solution. You don't need to hype a new one every year. Dean will create a new course in a year or two that's the new solution for the new crazy and unprecedented times. The self-help, self-development, and mindset world all rely on not solving people's problems. They're a multi-billion dollar industry because they need customers to continue returning for more. And that's what we want to do today. Today we want to expose you to this strategy, to this vehicle, to this industry. We also want to bust some myths and get rid of that so you're not playing small. You've already missed too many great opportunities in your life and we'd hate for you to miss this one. What you have to understand about people like Dean is they don't run sustainable businesses. They're in the business of sales funnels. Hint, that's why he links up with Russell Brunson so much. Dean is a salesman, not an entrepreneur. This is why every year he's promoting a new opportunity to win in these crazy, unprecedented times. One year it's a get-rich-quick scheme with real estate, the next year it's KBB, the following year it's Project Next, next year it's gonna have something to do with cryptos or NFTs, and you can see the trend. Every year he needs a new funnel to sell because these courses don't solve problems and yield a very low success rate. They burn through the market promoting the course, so they always need something new to hype the following year. If the courses were actually good, they could just continue selling the same course. Criticism number seven, Dean Graziosi uses very manipulative hyper-selling tactics to sell his courses. The reason why I care about this is Dean has had a history of overhyping courses that lead to terrible customer experiences. Here's the reality of people. We are easily persuaded. People like Dean are masters at selling when there's no rules or no governing body saying, hey, you can't say that because he knows how to sell using unethical methods. Unethical methods are definitely subjective, so I understand that some people don't share the same code of ethics that I do, but I'm confident that most people would be on my side when I break down what he does. This last criticism deserves an entire video because I'm gonna break down the manipulative sales tactics used in order to hyper sell these courses. I love the joke, so I'm gonna say it again. He really does make a used car salesman look like a timid virgin asking their cute classmate out to prom. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.